<clears throat> Hello, how are you doing today? Hi. <clears throat> hey, man. Uh, you good, actually. Work. You start working. What's that? I've been working for like, I, I mean, like almost three years now. <laughs> like, yeah, what do you mean? That's true, man. That's true. And it is so hard to go back, to get back to work after a kind of couple of days holiday. And yeah. it's kind of, you feel, <laughs> you feel bad. You feel yeah, bad. I, I mean, my mind is not here, uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Could you rest? It's all okay. Could you rest? Uh, yeah, a lot. A lot. Uh, more than I wanted. Okay, actually. that's amazing. That's amazing. Good to hear that. Let's say hello yeah. to other guys. Hi, teacher and friends. Hi, how are you doing today? Uh, I am good because uh, it was holiday. Yeah. Of course, people need need holidays. Of yes. Course. Yeah, working like machine. Of course, there must be some sort of a stop for a couple of days at least. True. And what about Mr. PZ Nevzat? Hi. Hi, man. How, How are, are you? you? Still alive. Me too. Me too. That's true. Cool. So far, so good. Let's say. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you have started your job. You started yeah. today, right? Not yesterday. Today. Yeah, right? we start today. Today, yeah, I got it. Obviously, of course. I mean, <clears throat> happy moments do not last long, which is problem. Sad moments last forever. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's say hello to Mr. Invisible to John. Hello. Hello, man. How are you doing today? Mm, just doing fine, I guess. Uh, after this little holiday, yeah. I don't know. I'm uh, trying to Put get used. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to get back, actually. Yeah, me to too. Work. Me too. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, uh, since the beginning of Bayram, I had a, I started ha having a kind of huge backache. It's still going oh, on. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Today Could it be COVID nineteen? I don't know. Yeah. What is the relationship? No other symptoms. Really? Yeah. Uh... I don't think so because it is not just. I had it last week. Then it stopped magically. Then I then okay. it started again severely. Understand? Then it is decreasing. Mm -hmm. Today I oh. it is a little bit better. Yeah. Because it was my first symptom. Possible. I am not surprised. <laughs> yeah. Possible. It can be. It can be. Yeah. I hope yeah. it's not. Uh, let's see. Let's see what will happen. Fantastic. So do you guys want to talk about your holidays today? Because today we are just kind of in a kind of lazy mode. <laughs> so hard to get back to the so hard to be serious. Yeah, maybe Mr. Ahmed wants to talk because he said that I rested more than enough. Why yeah. do you say that? Because uh, in holidays or I don't know. In weekends, I'm not at home actually. Uh, in daylight, I mean. Yeah. But uh, Do you this have a time, kind of it, va vampire or something like that. You said daylight. Yeah, I'm, 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 daylight. I'm, I'm a bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bad as vampire. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm trying to break the. Uh, how can I say? Really? Habits that I have. Uh, in normal weeks, in regular yeah. weeks, I yeah. mean, in weekends, okay. actually, but it, it was kind of cold in Istanbul, so sure. I yeah. still I didn't have any chance to go out, yeah. uh, but I, I did something, like what? some things, I, like making music. Oh, really? Yes, of course. <laughs> true, true. 
You're right. Uh, we had a chance to start a new game on PlayStation 4. Uh, Horizon the Forbidden West. What kind of game? What it's like West Time typo. No, it is. You don't know Horizon? I, I, I know Forza Horizon. No, no, the Horizon, like the exclusive no, game. I don't know. Definitely no, I it don't know. Maybe two genres. Maybe. Is it like uh, post apocalyptic? Yeah, I don't know uh, which category should I put it put it in, but yeah, most probably kind of primitive uh, costumes with some miraculous devices mm -hmm. fighting with machines in the future. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the same game that you're talking about. Yeah, uh, I know it, but I never played it before. This is the second version. I mean, second episode, whatever. Okay. Uh, fantastic, really fantastic graphic, which is really important. What is the name? Horizon Forbidden West. This is number two. You can definitely check it out because I'm very sensitive to the graphic and the lip synchronization. Is it PlayStation only? Most probably. Okay, I don't want then. to say, I'm not sure, but it is exclusive as far as I know. Number one was ex okay. exclusive. I'm not sure about number two, but yeah, we have started it and uh, it is amazing, really. The graphic engines, the design, the scenario, the action thing, uh, amazing, splendid, very good. And what about uh, Miss Hande? Do you want to speak a couple of words about the holiday that you had? I didn't know, uh, especially uh, things, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I live in uh, Seaside in Tejeda. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, cool. So, uh, so you took uh, some pictures or videos or you just chill out? Yes, mm -hmm. I uh, and I have uh, a dog. Mm -hmm. I uh, play with my dog. Yeah. Uh, seaside, a seaside. Was it and crowded? I rest. No, because uh, holiday site. Uh huh. A special holiday site as a seaside. Mm -hmm. uh, only mm -hmm. our sites. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. So it wasn't People. that much crowded. Yeah, I got it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rest. Yeah, yeah, we need rest. I mean, of course, we can talk about this uh, a little bit more, but of course, uh, first you talk, then I will maybe ask some other questions. Because resting is a huge topic. How do you, how do you define the word rest? What is rest? I mean, generally speaking, I ask the same, I, I mean, everybody. How do you define rest, resting? What is resting? Some people, as Mr. Ahmed said, you know, playing music, making music is a huge rest. Some people say no, just sleeping is a rest. Some people say no, traveling is a rest. Some people say working is a rest. I don't know. Everybody has got his, <clears throat> sorry, his own uh, way of definition. But of course, we're going to talk about it. Talk about it. Uh -huh. Cool. What about Mr. Nevzats? I mean, how did you spend your, I mean, very fast little short holiday actually i was sick really me yeah like me yeah yeah, yeah. we are very unlucky unfortunate yeah what type of sickness i don't know but i am suspicious about the food poisoning because i throw up and all the other things okay. i had to, yeah most probably. Because of this, my first three days is I did nothing. Mm. And the other days, I just watch films, movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On Netflix. Do you know the rush hours? Rush hours. It is very familiar to me. Rush hours. Jackie Jan? <laughs> yeah, yeah, old movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 of course. I watched that series. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Movie series, yeah. you mean? Not TV yeah. series. Movie series. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got it. yeah. 
Then also I played some PlayStation games. Uh -huh. Do you know Horizon? Yeah, I know. Okay, cool. But uh, I don't like this game. No, Possible. It's... I mean, uh, yeah. it is not my favorite, but if you want me to, uh, how can I say, make a comment on that in terms of graphic, in terms of the reality, the action thing, it is amazing. But of course, it's not my cup of tea. My cup of tea is Uncharted. My cup of tea is The Last of Us. God of War. But you know, I don't like because they are speaking too much. Yeah, they, yeah, uh, exactly. True, true. Uh, too much conversation, man. Too much uh, dialogue. Yeah, I hate it. They have very, very English. Yeah. Uh, some of the conversations I didn't understand, but true. I think you, you get them. What are they talking about? True, true. But of course, it can be a kind of motivational thing for you to push yourself forward a little bit, like to check up some Maybe. words. I think it's going opposite side. Hmm. Okay. Because it's decreased my motivation, you know. All right. They are too so much and they have really heavy language. Uh huh. But if you get get used to the heavy language, I bet yeah, your um, how can I say vocabulary range w would be dramatically increased. Believe me. I mean, uh, because because you are trying to get used to that yep. understand by pushing yourself forward uh, no pain no gain i mean there's a great saying in english of course you know it uh, but uh, yeah you're right it is not easy uh, they have heavy words really difficult words even to pronounce to remember but the more you get used to that uh, the better you're going to be in terms of comprehending I understand what I say yeah totally right and finally Mr. Tujan can you say a couple of words about your holiday maybe of course uh, it was an uh, it was a lazy holiday for lazy. me yeah uh, yeah but uh, I went to my hometown with my family uh, where is your hometown it's Yalova Yalova actually oh, very close uh, to Istanbul I was born in Istanbul, but uh, my originally. yeah, originally. But my father's family lives in Yalova, mm -hmm. and I grew up in Yalova. Also, I studied there. Uh, so I visited my grandmother. Uh, same. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The same old I'd grind. Grown. Yeah, I know. I know. Those <laughs> traditional things. Traditional. Yeah, but. Uh, Beside that, uh, I just laid down. Yeah, of course. I mean, we are uh, not just not only physically tired, but of course we are mentally tired as well. Yeah. And we need to just sit down and do absolutely nothing sometimes. Yeah, I wash the ceiling. Ceiling? It's the best activity. Uh -huh, okay. uh -huh. <laughs> I thought that you are talking about a kind of TV series or something. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. It could be a TV series, actually. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, we need it as long as we are healthy, then whatever we are doing can be very positive to us. But when we are suffering even a little bit in terms of health, the whole day, the whole holiday is going to be a kind of disastrous moment for yeah. us so to speak and I, I i can relate it to many factors personally speaking you know lack of sport terrible diet stress you name it uh, lack of sleep you know and overworking working too much all of them uh just compile understand what i say and then mm -hmm. one day it just explode and yeah. uh, the result is illness the result is backache the result is food poisoning or whatever really this is it it's specifically stress i would relate it to <clears throat> fantastic so uh speaking of you know um, 
what was the topic actually we were talking about the uh, resting yeah rest I have a, a couple of questions by the way but of course uh, we are talking about the holiday uh, so generally speaking you just uh, go to actually went to your uh, relatives specifically your grandparents grandfather grandmother right and you have the no you have the custom of kissing hands we don't have that and then what happens you eat together you you do what this is it eating drinking laughing spending some time but of course I mean everybody is you know checking their telephones these days what is the definition of resting guys a good topic philosophical topic for you how do you define the word rest mr Sorry, I don't understand question yeah, because the question is philosophical I said uh, how do you define rest what is rest to you what does it mean to you uh, sorry I understand uh, for example sleep okay yeah possible yeah yeah possible, possible okay Mr. Ahmed okay how can you explain that so uh, I don't want to be sound bad, but uh, I don't like sleeping. It's it's it feels like I'm losing some time. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and in the week, in the regular workday, uh, I cannot do things that I would do. So resting is uh, doing time. some things that, that that yeah that is special to me. Uh -huh. And breaking breaking that uh, regulation mm -hmm. of the, uh, breaking the work habits. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm just uh, having another life. Are you a kind in of, weekend? Are you personally a kind of overachiever in your life? No, I don't uh, overachiever. Yes, uh, a little bit. Me maybe too. I don't know. Me too. Maybe I don't know. Do you know why? Because what whatever you said, I quickly understood that you could be a kind of overachiever person. Me too. Why? Because some mostly, not sometimes. Whenever I do something which is not useful or I, I think that it is just waste of time and I want to do something really much more valuable, uh, which is uh, basically based on my opinion, in that scenario, most probably, I am a kind of overachiever in life. I, oh, achieve, okay. I achieve this. This is not enough. I want something else. I achieve that thing more, more, more. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. And uh, then, uh, then I'm overachiever. Yeah. But I don't, wanna, I don't want my work to define me. I mean, yeah. like uh, there are some guys that I'm seeing uh, in office in, in my work yeah. uh, that I don't like it. True. Like pretty I, much the same. I, I'm not just uh, work. I'm human individual. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. not workaholic. Yeah. No, actually, I'm not workaholic. That is another topic. I don't want to just open that door. I mean, workaholism. I mean, how do we call workaholism? I mean, working too much is workaholism. A person is workaholic, but working how much is workaholic? That is the main question. Forget, forget about it. So, yeah. all right, I got it. Maybe Mr. Nevzat maybe wants to say a couple of words about that. What is resting to you? What does it mean to you? Spends my mood, but sometimes I spend all day in the bed just watching movies or TV series. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just walking around with my headphones. And it's sometimes I drink some beers, yeah, mm -hmm. with my friends. Mm -hmm. Do you go to cinema also? Not, not so usually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got it. If I have time but, or if I like the movie, I will go. You are, watch, yeah. you, you are a kind of movie lover, I guess. Yeah, I like watching mm -hmm. movies. Mm -hmm. I got it. The new what was the name of the movie? Iron? No, not Iron Man. Doctor Strange, something like that. I forgot the full title. It is. Uh, at you mean the Spider-Man movie no, or no, new no, no. Doctor Strange movie? New Doctor Strange. As far as I, yeah, I, I saw it, I, I saw the 
Yeah, I saw the trailers. The posters but I... in metro stations. I got it. I got it. Very good. So, resting for you is uh, being on your own, watching movies, TV shows, listening to music, and just being away from work. This is what I could understand. True? Yeah. Correct. What about Miss Hande? <coughs> what is <coughs> resting? Play my... Yes, playing uh, with my dog. Okay. Uh, sitting How? at seaside uh, mm. or uh, uh, meeting with my uh, friends. Yeah. And uh, I uh, read the uh, personal de development uh, books. Fantastic. Very good. That is amazing. I mean, you, I think you can do all of these actions just at the seaside. Yes. You know, you can take your doc, you can take your novel or take your personal development, improvement, whatever, and yourself, obviously, and go to the seaside in a place that where uh, I mean, the weather is fantastic, the, the birds are chirping, you know, the, the waves are coming, everything, the nature is very, I mean, happy, and you, you yes. can do all of these stuff at the same time. Amazing. Oh, uh, not only uh, at seaside resting time, uh, I love trekking and climbing. Fantastic. Do you have a specific special boots for that? Do yes. Uh, do you know Kaçkardar? No. Or RGS? Unfortunately. I'm afraid not. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it is a mountain in uh, Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, I am climbing, uh, for example, next uh, last summer, I climbing uh, Kaçkardar. Uh, start starting no group, uh -huh. trekking group. Okay. Uh, starting with Rize, maybe Rize, no. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, and, I, I uh, heard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Finish, uh, finish uh, in Erzurum. Mm -hmm. Amazing. That is yes. amazing. Very lovely uh, piece or, of sport. Yes, uh, or uh, the last uh, 20 May, uh, I uh, trekking with uh, Petie, Ditya Yolo. Petie. Fantastic. And uh, Petie, uh, starting in Petie, uh, finishing in Antalya. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Sis. So it means that, for example, let's say you go to Petie and you start tracking or climbing, whatever. So do you camp? Yes. Do you camp there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. To right now, I think it is not uh, possible mm. around Istanbul to camp because the weather condition is not okay, right? Yes, baby. Uh, yes, Balıkayalar in uh, near the uh, Gebze. Mm. Uh, the name is uh, Balıkayalar. Mm -hmm. I have. No it is idea. very fantastic. Yes. I got it. Yeah. You have a lot of experiences about the you know mountains and those places routes actually yes cool cool amazing i love that i love that of course that is rest that is mental mental relief i would say what about mr tujan what is resting for you how do you define it okay uh resting is doing things that you enjoy okay so uh, you can even work if you enjoy your work amazing don't tell yeah. me you're you are one of those guys no i'm not okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, for me resting is just laying down and doing nothing at all fantastic exactly <laughs> but you know i think uh, just resetting the mind yeah I think Ahmed cannot do that. Specifically, yeah. I'm talking from my, my own side. For example, when I try to do nothing, I would definitely think about something. Definitely. I mean, undoubtedly, I have to. I cannot sit like that. Even doing nothing, but the brain is working. You know? I have to think about something. 
really. So you cannot shut it off, right? No, no, I can't. I can't. Yeah, I can't do it. That is amazing. That is a bless. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if I do that, I will I would feel so bad actually. Do, yeah. Doing nothing. Yeah. Maybe sometimes it's good, like for a while. I mean, after for a while, but doing nothing and resting feels bad. I mean, like I don't yeah, right. know. <laughs> like I, I he likes to be proactive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, overachiever. We are overachievers. True. Yeah. True. I can say that. <laughs> and that is not also cool. I am one of the overachievers, but it doesn't mean that I'm in favor of that. I don't like it, but this is who I am. But uh, the point is happy medium. Do you know this expression, guys? Happy medium. Have you ever heard? Let me type that. It's like medium rare steak. No. <laughs> happy medium is a kind of situation that you find the balance in whatever you are doing, whatever it is. Imagine, let's say, uh, too much lenient, too much strict in life. Leniency means easygoing, strict means, you know, very severe actions. None of them are okay. Happy medium is, is okay. To be a little bit lenient, a little bit strict. This is, for example, happy medium, so to speak. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is, and I think uh, based on your calendar, next month also is uh, sacrifice feast, right? Kurban. Am I right? Let me check that again. Are you preparing yourself for that by Ram too? No, not next month. Two months later. Yeah. My mistake, my bad. Two months later, there will be another Bayram. For how many days? One, two, three, four, five. Five days, guys. Am I right? Don't tell me that you don't know. Yeah, but two of, <laughs> two of the days are in the weekend. Yeah, of course. We can. I'm basically counting them. Don't you count them? No. Why not? You are it's not already bothered. holiday. <laughs> but of course, I mean that is too much, too many holidays. If you just imagine the whole country is resting for one week for ten days, no organization, no nothing, it's not working. So what happens? Perfect. No, it, no, it is not. <laughs> Actually, it is not. Uh, I would say, you know, just. Pay attention to COVID-19 last year. Turkish government just, uh, how can I say, canceled a lot of, uh, because uh, due to COVID-19, a lot of curfews, a lot of lockdowns. Then what happened? Today you can see the result of, uh, result of it, result of the action through uh, economy. Understand? Something that we did yesterday, today can be the result, I would say. Yeah, Mr. Yes, Obviously, you're right about that. Iran. Sorry? How is it in Iran? How is what in Do Iran? The same, same holidays uh -huh. in your country? Ah, uh -huh, the holiday in Iran. Oh my God, mm -hmm. Iran. Uh, Iran has got lots of holidays. A lot of holidays. Generally, religious holidays. Generally, religious holidays. And you, you would be very surprised for Ramadan, like we call it like Eid al-Fitr, this is Arabic also, uh, it is, I think, one or two days maximum. One, one day, I think, or two days maximum. This The same for Kurban also. One or two days. Because we have already had lots of holidays. I mean, uh, look at the number of prophets, look at number of imams, look at number of different things. All of them have got a birthday and the day of death, you know, and on both of these days, there must be kind of holiday, not holiday generally, but of course a day off. And um, the the most important one is Nowruz. You call it Nevruz here. 
Nowruz is the most important holiday in Iran, like for two weeks, 13 days. For 13 days, the whole school and university generally, everywhere is off. But of course, not the organizations, not the ministries. They are only for even the banks for two or three days, I think. But generally, people take their annual leaves and, I mean, keep them and, and just uh, spend them during Nowruz, so to speak. Lots of lots of things going on. Yeah. So uh, pretty much the same, pretty much the same, but uh, Corona, speaking of COVID-19 here today, uh, I think uh, next week is going to be totally, uh, people are going to remove the masks totally, right? Even in the schools and uh, universities is what I heard. Is that correct? And even in Metro, am I right guys about it? Mr. Ahmed and Tujan, can you... It's already me? removed. No, no, no. Uh, it was removed uh, on the street. I didn't know about the public transportation. I well, to my information, uh, if you're asking me, I know yeah. it like uh, this. It's already uh, is not forbidden to uh, not wear mask in public. Transportation? No, I'm talking about transportation. Yeah, I think so. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know about it. Uh, but like, uh, I was in the metro last week, uh, I mean, in the holiday. Yeah. And I saw a couple of guys, but people still wear masks. Masks, yeah. Be, uh, I mean, because of the, how can I say, prevention? Yeah, Preve yeah. Prevent. Preven prevention, yes, prevention. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I think uh, Farhattin Koja tweeted something that uh, he stated that if the number of COVID-19 cases uh, go below a number, mm -hmm. then uh, we are not obligated to wear masks in uh -huh. public transportation. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. I don't not I don't know that number. Okay, I got it. I maybe ah so okay it it, it it was removed indoor, but in tra public transportation it will be like to just said. Mm -hmm. uh, under uh, a thousand uh, per day or per week? Yeah, per day. Under a, a thousand uh, ill person per ill people per day yeah. would be the, the uh, removed. Yeah, I understand. Possible, but for if you ask me, I would say public transportation should be. I mean, uh, like as it used to be during COVID-19. I mean, people, I think, uh, need to keep wearing masks in public transportation. It is not just about the COVID. It is about some other things also. I don't know. I would do the same. But yeah, in this school or in university, as long as, as long as everybody gets their own shots, at least, I mean, COVID-19 vaccination, I think that is okay. But still, there are some people who, who are insisting and persistently insisting not taking any kind of vaccination at all. And I am in awe. I mean, everybody just needs to take the vaccination, man. Why there are still some people who are not taking vaccination? Yeah, I would say just checking people's vaccination card indoors, I would say that is okay, my opinion. Yeah, at least two or three shots, doses. Okay, we can say, all right, everybody in this room, let's say, are uh, have been vaccinated. Okay, then we can remove the masks, in my opinion, to decrease the risk, I would say. But what about the other cities, uh, Mr. Nevzat? Your city right now? How is the public transportation going on? I think you are not using it, but yeah, I use it. Also, I live in a small town. You know, around two hundred thousand in my city. Mm -hmm. We don't have too much transportation, public transportation. All right. I'm not sure about this. What about outside? 
in the public outside nobody's wearing huh? I think, yeah it's but almost the same in all around Turkey, country I think I got it I got oh, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but I am not sure about Istanbul you know it's too crowded if I be there I I will I will use the mask masks it would take transportation but you I'm not sure others yeah mm -hmm. no you would definitely take the precautions, which is a kind of smart move. Why not? And what about Ms. Hande? Do you want to speak about your city right now? How is the COVID-19 cases or situation over there in your city? Yes, uh, actually, I uh, very visited different cities mm -hmm. uh, because... Where, where, uh, where are you right now? It is... Sorry? Where are you right now? uh not right uh in group in a uh, drinking group because it is forest you are in uh, it is you're in forest it is safety right, right yes now. okay uh -huh. interesting in okay. covid time and different cities mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i got it i got it very good i mean uh, we have to just take precautions as long as covid is still going on no other uh, choices no other chances so to speak and we need to uh, just stay alive this is everybody's desire right St uh, i mean staying alive very good i haven't been ill uh never mm -hmm. and if um, it is possible it is normal yeah that's cool it is different you got your vaccinations yes three three shots right yes okay. no uh only two shots only two shots mm -hmm. because it is uh it have to uh be uh, for visiting mm -hmm. uh especially uh bus in istanbul it is uh it uh have to uh, be mm -hmm. and uh i only two shots mm -hmm. i got it yeah i think you need to think about number three which is a must in my opinion based on uh, the experiences that we have had okay thank you now of course it is almost going to end the first session but let me share the questions we are going to talk about it uh, right after the meeting is going to end the questions are kind of what would you do if my favorite type of questions of course uh, <clears throat> we are going to talk about it number one if you were given the opportunity to be born again what would you change in your life think about this question and i will most probably ask more questions related to that who wants to start of course we have almost a minute to go yes go ahead place i mean where can i go <laughs> ah place i don't know okay <laughs> let me speak about it okay if i have opportunity born in sweden then sweden. or switzerland okay <laughs> then i can change it uh i would change the place that i was born so you mean the place is the most uh, important uh, thing to to think about? Yeah, it, so in unimproved countries like that, it is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. uh, like there's an old saying in Turkey, you know, the place is your, how can I say, fate. Uh, geography, I mean, mm -hmm. geography is your fate. Your fate, <laughs> yeah. So do you, do you believe in that? You yeah. Believe in this well, thing? yeah 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 well i can change it but i, I can change something about it but yeah but most probably yeah. of course this is very controversial hello again as, I, as mm. I was saying i think it is a kind of controversial topic i mean let me share the question again <laughs> uh the place you're right it can be kind of advantageous to be born in a, as you said a kind of advanced uh, countries developed countries whatever uh, but 
but a huge but is here every single country right now if you pay attention to has got successful people in terms of business in terms of science in terms of philosophy whatever look at Turkey right now don't you have successful people all of them are Turkish people for example the one that I know is Ajun. Ajun is a kind of really successful figure uh, of course in your eyes and of course in our eyes also uh, I don't watch much Turkish uh, television I don't watch television at all but I know him why whatever he is I think he's successful but of course yeah you're right you can say you can say that the life conditions are not equal are not fair okay what do you want to say about it so, uh, I, what I was saying uh, uh, all of our uh, all of us would say that uh, we will uh, do something about it we will uh, uh, try to be successful uh, at some point I mean but it's harder to achieve that Very in hard. Uh, my country yeah and it's not fair uh, you know <laughs> you are totally right it is not fair it is tremendously difficult i don't say yeah. it is easy but i say uh if you get to that level if you get to that point yeah what happens you just copied the questions right uh what happens you 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 can, you can reach your specific level i would say yeah okay thanks to your answer maybe maybe mr tujan wants to say a couple of words about question number one i'm still trying to think so you need more time yeah i don't know if i can find anything to change uh -huh. i'm thinking like five minutes already <laughs> still a challenging yeah. question yeah a million dollar question <laughs> definitely the change yeah so i see ahmed's point on that but definitely change what i couldn't hear you you were frozen the place that ah, the place. i was born uh -huh. so i believe in that idiom okay so which country and i Spain, Madrid. Okay. <laughs> it should be West. Oh, West. Not East. Yeah. For example, for example, uh, it can be United States, United Europe, States. or Canada. Canada. Doesn't matter that much, but it must be West. Uh, I really don't like being in Turkey, especially right now. Mm. Uh, I cannot buy it. <laughs> so, have you ever have you ever tried to do your best to find a way to escape? Not, I don't want to say escape. To find okay, a way okay, but, to uh, just get out, the get problem is, out of it. The problem is that actually, I don't want to leave because uh, I really love my family and I want to stay with them. Obviously. So, this is my choice: staying in Turkey. Yeah. So I am accepting it. So my hands are tied up. There is nothing I can do. No, no, no. I don't. I don't believe in that. I mean, I I have Why? to disagree. I don't want to leave them. You're okay. You don't have to leave them. You don't have to. It is. We are not at the moment. We are not living in a kind of period which technology is worse. Today, everything is possible. Uh, you don't uh, have to be always with your parents forever or with your relative, with your people, whatever. I mean, thanks to technology, at least you can see them. Thanks to- Of course, some of other course. But, uh, that's not my problem that I, yeah, I can FaceTime them right. anytime mm -hmm. in anywhere in the world, but I want to be close to them in case something occurs you're right like medical situation you're totally right about it i mean the point here is 
uh, based on my own experience is uh, I mean hu humanity human beings we are really nothing believe me a lot of things in this world uh, are inevitable unavoidable and uh, uh, today I am talking I don't know about tomorrow believe me I am not just saying it I mean anything there are lots of lots of possibility if you look at look at life uh, through mathematics lots of possibility today is one of those I don't know billion gazillion whatever possibility that we are right now we are talking to each other a lot of different different possibilities can occur as you said and generally if you ask me generally none of them are uh, under our control we are nothing believe me we are just I don't want to say puppet but puppet of the nature uh, really you know look at that water over there imagine yeah. imagine ourselves inside it I mean we are just a, a, a kind of drop in that huge ocean which is just disappeared really mm -hmm. of course yeah, I don't want I to believe. just dig into the, the topic philosophically but yeah go ahead yeah I believe everything had has happened already and we are just seeing it in linear space near time absolutely yeah <laughs> yes yes and um, we can do nothing about it I mean the point here is uh, we always uh, worried about future we are always worried about future and we uh, are unhappy about the past but we are losing today the moment generally generally me to all of us kinda are losers because we lose today right now we are worrying about the future which hasn't come and the past is yeah, so, uh, yeah I'm accepting my choice and trying not to complain about co complain about it mm -hmm. so I'm okay. just being happy. all right okay that is a different case that is a different case you said you you have accepted the current situation that you have and yeah. if you are happy with it okay that is the equation is done so no problem with that but <laughs> what Mr. Ahmed said he's not happy at the moment <laughs> and he's not accepting it and I am not blaming him I am not blaming him he is not accepting it and um, of course he can do something for himself why not thanks to lots of lots of things around him opportunities ideas I don't know technology people experience this that he can he can just change something in his life he can I would say yeah of course mm -hmm. all of us all of us can of course I mean accepting is just a kind of relieving point for ourselves mentally today you accept it what about f five years later are you going to accept what about two I years don't... later you know uh, we don't know about it but what you know about today is you have accepted the current situation of your life right now okay and you're not uh, thinking about the future or you don't want to think about future maybe you cannot think about the future I don't know but uh, it is never enough I would say yeah okay it's a big source of anxiety absolutely the uncertainty is the big big I mean huge problem in life thanks to COVID uh, I mean the COVID was a kind of uh, how can I put it into words like it, it was a kind of triggery thing that it poked at least me of course people to wake up I mean what is going on I mean uh, what have we done uh, and I mean we were just locked down in our homes and doing nothing just very hopeless very desperate about the current situation and the future which is today actually today is the future of yesterday and still uh, not certain that much but I would say everybody is trying to find a way to fight with it 
to solve the problems or I don't know to uh, create a better future for themselves at least yeah of course it's a very heavy topic I don't want to go to dive into it deeper I mean that is enough <laughs> what about uh, Mr. Nevzat maybe he wants to say a couple of words about the first question <laughs> Actually, I have uh, a happy life. I don't want to be ungrateful about it. But I would like to born in rich family, you know. Rich family. I mean, yeah, nice, really rich. Nice. Okay. <laughs> because I don't want to work at all. <laughs> I just want to go to other countries. Yeah, travel as a or, tourist. Yeah. There was yeah, a just friend of... Fun. I just want to spend too much money in clubs. There was a there was a friend of mine. I mean, uh, he was really interesting person, Turkish guy. He said that Mesa, I really want to come to Turkey as a tourist. Huge sentence. Yeah. Huge sentence. Yeah. I want to come to Turkey as a tourist. He said. Uh, just you can think and understand what he wanted to say, and now I can understand what you want to say, and you're totally right about it. You don't want to work, you just want to chill out here in Turkey. And uh, yeah. you're right. But again, the question is, I mean, uh, getting bigger, like rich family, who is the richest family? I mean, what is rich in your opinion? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I will be the son of the Elon Musk. Ah, son of something. Elon Musk. Yeah. Yeah. Elon Musk bought the Twitter. Yeah. Cool. I mean, with Twitter uh, budget capital, somebody wrote it in somewhere. You can buy a couple of really great football clubs with that capital. And I don't understand why he bought Twitter. Do you know? Any, do you have any idea about that, guys? Why? Okay, Mr. Ahmed, you want to say something? As you may have say, uh, media is power. You know. Okay. And the Twitter is the big, uh, is the most power, one of the most powerful social media True. Uh, thing in the world. And uh, the other thing is, in Twitter, you are sharing your thoughts, yeah. not your pictures or something like that. They, yeah, no. You're not sharing something consumable. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's always thoughts. So you can uh, direct the crowd, and hmm. it's. Uh, it gives you so much uh, power. I mean, you can manipulate that power. Fantastic. Yeah, totally. It makes sense. But it is kind of, I, I don't want to be like, uh, I, I don't want to sound like, uh, how can I say? Uh, sensational. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the word, but I don't want to sound like uh, that. I don't, I don't know the word. No, 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 not sociopath. Like uh, people uh, who are believing in incredible things, like uh, saying some Super theories about it. Superstitious. Superstitious? Maybe. Superstitious, okay. Superstition is the action, superstitious is the adjective. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I understand. No, it is not superstitious. I mean, whatever you said can, of course, make sense. Yeah, media is power, and Twitter is the most, yeah, one of the most really powerful social media platforms, so to speak. So yeah, you can you can lead, you can lead people, you can direct people to whatever way you want them to go. Yeah, fantastic. I like that. Yeah, cool. And. Okay, rich family. Do you want to say something more about that, or that is enough? Only rich and do play, play. Yeah, that's play PlayStation. Yeah, <laughs> play PlayStation and just uh, chill out, be a tourist. Yeah, like that. I got it. And what about Miss Hande? Do you want to say a couple of words about the first question? Okay. If uh, I I was given the opportunity to be born again, yeah. I changed my like uh, my country. Uh, I want to um, 
I want to born in Lyon, in France. In France, France. In France, in Lyon, uh, it is near the civil servants. Yeah. I uh, when I uh, was in university, uh, I live in uh, six months. Like with uh, six, you no know, no eight months no. Uh, it is a different uh, program. Mm -hmm. I uh, block my uh, prep school, uh -huh. and then I go uh, in Lyon. Yeah, and I live in uh, eight months. Mm -hmm. It is fantastic. Really, better yes, than, better than Istanbul. Yes, of course, Come because on. every every people is uh, happy. Mm -hmm. uh, it is near the uh, Paris and Switzerland. Yeah, I don't know. Of course, I heard the uh, Switzerland uh, lake uh, uh, opposite the in Lyon. Yeah, and it is uh, Paris uh, near the only one uh, horse. Yeah in Lyon Center from in Lyon Center it is very fantastic mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately okay. uh, I am Turk I got it yes. uh, I mean you have to fight for it I don't know you should find a way or build a way to whatever you want to reach at life or in life whatever uh, because it is hard, really hard. It is difficult. It is not easy. Uh, nobody uh, can reach somewhere easily. It is not possible. Yes. Everybody knows that. Of course, I'm just reviewing these things that you know. I mean, uh, it is really hard and um, time consuming, energy consuming and, and a lot of effort uh, are needed to reach that level. Yeah. But as long yes. as as long as people don't want it, they cannot reach to, to whatever they are looking for. Just saying it that I want to get that, for example, object is not enough. You want to get that object, whatever it is, or subject, whatever. What have you done to get that? You know, uh, I told maybe this a couple of weeks ago or maybe in the beginning that I follow three principles in life, generally. My principles in life. What, why, how? Principle, easy. What, why, how? What do I want to do? Why do I want to do? Okay, how do I want to do? Finish. Yes, of course, because uh, sometimes uh, we... Um don't uh, uh, choice for example my mom is was uh, is ill is cancer oh. uh, so for that. it is uh, not uh, my choice that is true yes I'm so sorry uh, to hear that uh, you're right <laughs> but generally speaking uh, yeah I mean you have to find a way to I mean eliminate Maybe not totally, but at least some uh, parts of your problems. All of us, mm -hmm. everybody has got problems. Believe me, even you talk about Elon Musk, even that person has got lots of problems. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, the, the thing that we see with people is the only the result of what, what we are seeing them right now, because we, we cannot see the reality, uh, the reality yes. of their life. Uh, You're uh, right. Uh, the, 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 uh, before uh, six, no, seven years uh, old uh, ago, uh, I live in, lived in Prague, mm -hmm. Czech uh, Republic, yeah. and uh, then before uh, I lived in uh, Lyon in France. Yeah. If um, it is my choice. I um, uh, certainly I live in different country, mm -hmm. but it is my uh, it isn't my choice. True, it is my real realistic. I understand. Yeah, uh, in that case, as I said, I mean you have to just uh, 
brainstorm. <laughs> this is what I what I do some from time to time. Specific at least once in a year. I try to brainstorm and see who am I? What am I? I mean, where am I? What am I doing? And try to find answers for these small questions. And then I can build up my plan for the future, maybe. I think everybody can do that, but everybody's life is not the same. And I'm sure that, of course, life doesn't treat us equally. Life doesn't treat us fairly. And uh, this is the reality of life. And uh, yes. generally, human beings, we, uh, are unhappy about something that we don't have, generally speaking, but we are not happy for something that we have. Very important point here, uh, I would say. Generally speaking, people, right now we are healthy. We have this health, but we say this is not enough. We want something else. And by default, uh, thanks to nature, uh, we human beings, I mean, are looking for something that they don't have it, whatever it is, whatever it is. It can be time, it can be money, it can be anything. But we have to take what we have got for granted, I would say. Anyway, thank you. Now let's move to next question. Maybe we can talk about the next question. If you always had to tell the truth, sorry. If you could have dinner with someone, dead or alive, who would you choose and why? Okay, kind of funny question, but let's see what your answers would be. Okay, Mr. Ahmed is uh, ready. Go ahead. So, I was thinking for a while for this question, ah, but okay, cool. I, yeah, I got stuck with, uh, between two answers. Uh, it's either Jimmy Page or Elon Musk. Uh -huh. uh, Jimmy Page because I like his music and I like to put him in a human position I mean like I like yeah. to see the guy uh -huh. yeah like uh, and I think that he would is inspire me so much just talking with him and Elon Musk I mean he has crazy ideas and he seems a little bit crazy, really crazy. and yeah really crazy and I like the thoughts behind that brain. I mean, like, I like to see the thoughts. I mean, like, what he is planning. Mm -hmm. Like, he's not uh, explaining a lot of things to yeah. us. Yeah. Are you, are you following him on YouTube or, I don't know, some other platforms? Uh, do you know Joe Rogan? Joe Rogan? Joe Rogan? Uh, no. YouTuber? No. Uh, yeah, he, 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 he's a YouTuber. I mean, he's some kind of, he has podcasts. Oh, podcast. uh, yeah, uh, like he's not uh, usual guy that you will see everywhere, but he's an interviewer. So uh -huh. I saw two of his shows, like he was smoking weed, you know, the Elon yeah, Musk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw that. Yeah, it I was in Joe Rogan show. Uh -huh. So I started with that and I began, began to... <laughs> Uh, watch, uh -huh. yeah, I watch his videos and on YouTube. I mean, like, I'm following him like that. Uh -huh, I got it. I like, I'm um, watching his interviews actually. Yes. True, okay, that is cool. That's cool, of course. Uh, I mean, following those people in order to get into their brain and uh, get into their ideas can be a good choice. Why not? Okay, maybe in the future, thanks to the advanced version of Metaverse, it can be possible. I don't know. <coughs> Who knows? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks for the answer. Who is uh, who wants to answer the, this question? I mean, apart from Mr. Ahmed. Yes, Mr. Tuljan wants to talk. Okay, I will definitely choose my grand grandfather. Hmm. You haven't seen. And you haven't seen yeah, I haven't seen I, I have just heard of him and I would ask him why did he sell all of these <laughs> buildings and lands <laughs> do you have any picture of him by any chance uh, no sorry oh. uh, 
No, no, no. I don't want to see. Actually, I, for yourself, I mean, do you have the picture? Have you ever seen? <laughs> like, yeah, in picture? one or two pictures, I okay. think my grandmother once showed me. Ah. But uh, he had a problem with gambling. Ah, I got it. Gambling. And uh, they had a building near Bosphorus Bridge, and he started selling by the first floor. Even the bricks, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you sold them. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask him why. Because of the gamble, you said that. Yeah, yeah, I know. But uh, why gambling? <laughs> why gambling? I mean, this is what it is. Of course, we cannot be so sure of the future, which is today. How could he be so sure of today? Are you so it sure of? Be rich. Five years later, can you just tell me something about five years later? We cannot. No. <laughs> the only thing that we can do maybe is to decrease the uh, risk factors to the minimum level, maybe. And those oh, risk but, factors. But you can say that he is not gambling, so. <laughs> I don't know. I have. I cannot judge. <laughs> I cannot judge. But the point here is maybe those days back back in then. Uh, I mean, gambling was very popular and kind of. I don't know business. Maybe not just. I would. I would say it is beyond the hobby. That's why you are just selling your house. Maybe he was thinking uh, multiplying his wealth. Yeah, a kind of. But instead know, of that, he yeah. went broke. <laughs> B business, you know, strategy maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I'm on. I mean, uh, unfortunately, something like that happened in the past. Yeah. You can do nothing about it. I got it. Okay, and uh, who is next? To answer this question, mm -hmm. I can answer. Uh, okay. I have two opposite choice. One of them is will be other two. Hmm. It will be fun to eat something and drink something with him mm -hmm. and talking about. Yeah, some questions from him. Yeah, not special questions, mm -hmm. but. I like to meet, meet with him. Mm -hmm. Also, other one is will be Barbara Caldi from Victoria's Secret. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't need to explain that why I choose her. Yeah, it's like I, that. I got it. Fantastic. You wanna just meet those people? Really, kind of uh, opposite thing. Not opposite. I mean, totally different thing. Yeah, different people, yeah. All right, possible. And Ms. Hande, maybe you can say a couple of words about this question. Yes, I chose uh, Mary Moore. Sorry? M M Mary Moore. M Mary Moore. The actress, you mean? Yes, it is actress. Of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and mm -hmm. then what? Just, just see or eat, drink. Because, see. because it is very uh, beautiful mm -hmm. girl, mm -hmm. and uh, it is very uh, good uh, play uh, in right. outdoor. Yes, that's true. So, yes, fantastic, true. Of course, I mean, if you are lucky enough to. Be an actor or actress in Hollywood, most probably you are really talented. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Maybe we can move on and go to next question, which says, if you always had to tell the truth, what kind of problems would you be encountered? Encounter. Interesting. Kind of tough question, but. I don't know. I just wonder about your answers. You know, kind of question. Sorry, kind of question, which is uh, very close to. Have you watched Dexter? You know, Dexter's, you know, inner voice, inner dialogue, that he had a kind of conversation with himself. I was 
in favor of them. I mean, that, that kind of scenario. The whole uh, TV show is very simple and basic TV show, but the, how can I say, that inner voice, I mean, inside conversation was amazing, in my opinion. It is somehow related to that uh, mentality. Go ahead, in my opinion, go ahead. Have you watched the last season of Dexter? No, not yet. Don't say anything about it. Okay, don't, don't <laughs> <worry>. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, Okay, then my question is, have you watched Invention of Lying by Ricky Jervis? Jervis? Is, that, know, is that on the program? What, what is, is that a kind of movie or documentary or what? It's a movie about uh, Invention of Lying, literally. <laughs> Can you say that again? Invention of Lying. So uh, there is a bird uh, that no one is lying at all, and uh -huh. they don't know how to lie. They always tell the truth. And uh, Ricky Jervis is inventing the lie. <laughs> and I don't see any problem With it. there. So uh, I think it would be best if we don't lie. And uh, for me, Back in high school, I was lying all the time for meeting with my girlfriend and friends. <laughs> uh, a good strategy. A good strategy. <laughs> but uh, nowadays, I try not to. Yeah. Why because uh, yeah, because I forgot the lie that I told. Yeah. And then it's even worse to remember that <laughs> it's to, stressful <laughs> to remember what you have said yeah true yeah true. That's so true. i choose not to buy <laughs> yeah yeah i got it i got what you said exactly that small light can become very big yeah uh, snowball effect yeah all of a sudden all of a sudden yeah true okay thank you for this lovely answer who is next Okay, Miss okay. Hande. Yes, go ahead. Uh, if you, I always had to tell uh, true. Uh, I think uh, it, I never uh, have problems because uh, I think lying is bad because uh, sometimes people uh, forgot <laughs> it. That's true. And life is uh, confused. Uh, mix. Do you do you lie a lot? Uh, sorry. Do you lie? Yes. Really? Uh, rarely. Uh, really? Sometimes, but uh, generally, I spoke uh, through the. Uh huh. Uh, because I um, uh, I I uh, love uh, easily. Uh huh. Laugh. Yeah. Uh, is and uh, like uh, is uh, very bad, uh, and uh, life is a mix mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, for uh, lying. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, and sometimes people uh, know you bad, uh, are uh, bad, mm -hmm. and it is uh, don't safe and. Uh, uh, careful. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, if I always uh, had to tell the truth, I never uh, have a problem. True. I think. Yeah, that is the best way to approach to life, so to speak. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And I think, Mister. Ahmed wanted to say something about it. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, for this question, I, this is like really weird question. I, I mean, <laughs> like who, whoever you have in, in your life most, then you would have uh, the most problem with uh, them. I mean, if you always had to tell the truth. I mean, okay. so I have my friends. And I would have so much problem with my friends 
because sometimes they are asking me to go out, sometimes they are asking me to do something. And if I say that uh, I am doing this, I am playing music, I am doing, I, I am uh, having a film, and they always say that, oh, screw it, just come with us. <laughs> and and all the time I'm saying that I am, uh, I have this really important thing that I should do. Mm. And they are like, oh, whatever then. Well, we will just go and yeah. do this. I, I mean, maybe with my relatives or with my friends. Yeah. I would have that kind of problems. Mm. I can totally understand what you say. Yeah, of course, it happens to all of us, I guess. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, because people are not considerate, considerable. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to blame everybody, but of course, specifically, uh, I mean, that is really difficult to explain. Of course, I, I could understand what you say. I mean, this is maybe related to the um, culture that whatever you say m can mean a kind of excuse for not doing it. That is why you're lying or that is why people uh, are not sincere. That is because of ourselves, because of our wrong <clears throat> interpretations. I can understand what you say. Yeah, you're right. And maybe Mr. Nevzat. Whenever the time yeah. is going to end, Mr. Nevzat is basically... Yeah, yeah, it's my <laughs> turn, yeah. God. Actually, I always try to tell the truth to people. And also we have some uh, common thing in our plant. People always try to ask give me some feedback about my job, my clothes, blah, blah, yeah. I always try to say that, the truth, but I feel that people always uh, are uncomfortable about that, you know. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to tell the truth sometimes to mm. so people. You know, <laughs> that's all. You know, you're, yes, I mean, pe people just want to hear what they want to this is yeah. it believe me if i always say if somebody says me sam i want to buy this i say yes yeah of course that is amazing definitely do it definitely i mean if somebody is <laughs> asking uh, your opinion most probably he or she uh, cannot choose cannot decide so he or she wants you to help them you know, confirmation, I would call it. So if you say yes, do it, then that is a big help. If you say no, I don't like it, that is not gonna help. I would say, generally speaking, generally speaking, no, you don't you don't believe in that? Ah, you believe in that, okay. Yeah, this I is, believe in that. This is unfortunate, this is unfortunate. And people just want confirmation, people just want uh, how can I say uh, sympathy people just want to be uh, accepted understand to be accepted that's why they are asking otherwise they won't ask even how often do you ask a, a kind of important question not that much important maybe from your family from your relatives cousins brothers sibling or whatever uh, rarely you don't want to ask actually but generally when you ask you are doubtful, you are not so sure, you are not so certain about doing it or not doing it. That's why you keep asking. And why you are asking? Because you need confirmation. You need to be confirmed. <laughs> Me too, all of us. Yeah, that's why, generally speaking, people uh, just uh, need to lie, so to speak. Yeah. What an interesting conversation today it was. It was today, actually. Good to see you here, guys. Take care of yourselves. See you next time.